In 2030, we're expecting 3 billion more middle-class consumers in the world. By 2050, we're expecting the world population to hit 10 billion. If we then roll the clock forward to the end of the century, we're expecting waste levels to go from their current of 3.5 million tonnes a day to 10 million tonnes a day. It doesn't take a genius to realise that the legacy we're leaving our children is quite simply unsustainable. But why is that? Well, if you look at our current approach, we take a linear model, we dig something up out of the ground, we turn it into something, and then we throw it away. Well, that clearly isn't going to work in a world of finite resources. So is there another way? Well, what if, instead of taking something up out of the ground, making it into something and disposing of it, we recycled, remanufactured, or reused it? Well, this isn't exactly rocket science, but this is the fundamental concept behind the circular economy. And it's not just a, a pipe dream or a fad. It's something that mainstream companies like Philips and Renault are actually using now and making a core part of their business. So, if this is something that's growing in importance and part of the future, and we as engineers and technologists design and make the future, then what do we need to understand about the circular economy to ensure we're at the forefront of this transition? Well, that's why we've assembled a world-class panel, chaired by our CEO of the IET, Nigel Fine, to help answer some of these questions. So, come along and join us, make sure you bring some challenging questions, and understand how you can help engineer the circular economy.